very first GBC Talks at the School of ESL. I am happy, honored, and humbled to be the MC, the Master of Ceremonies, for this event. Some of you may know me. My name is Ray. I'm a peer coach here at the Student Success. Tonight, or this afternoon rather, you will be hearing speakers that are your fellow colleagues, people that go to class with you. You'll be hearing speakers from the College Teachers Training Program, or CTTP for short. And you also have a peer coach performing for you. Are you excited? Yes! With a response like that, I think our speakers are going to get nervous. So ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? very excited because we're about to have a word from the chair, executive of our department, Mr. Ian Wigglesworth. Wow. So ladies and gents, uh, I'd like to say first of all thank you very much for coming to this event. I know it's going to be extraordinary, uh, but before we go too much further, I also want to say thank you to those who organized the event. Uh, so thank you to the Student Success Team uh, and anyone else who had their part in it because this is going to be amazing and absolutely positive about that. It is about community and learning from one another and part of the School of ESL and the College Teacher Training Program, uh, the things that those two programs have in common are that we believe that we learn from the community. Uh, we believe that, uh, as in all of our classes, we ask that our students engage with one another, not only to practice their English or to practice their teaching, uh, but to learn. And not just academics, right? We want you to learn about culture and people and the way other people do things. I am sure that part of that will be some of the information that's disseminated in this event. I know that there are a lot of speakers, uh, and I don't want to take too much time, but these types of events are what makes this school and this college special. And obviously, these types of events can only happen with amazing students. So I want to say thank you very much uh, for being an amazing person, and for being an amazing community member, and for being an amazing student. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Before I go over the rules for the speakers, and the etiquette that we have when doing a speaking event like this. We have a word from a very special person who always supports us at Student Success and supports all of you. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dorothy Van Groovy. sometimes complete strangers. Uh, many of you who know me know that this is, like they often say, one of the greatest fears. So it's uh, public speaking and then death. But I know the challenge of what you guys are taking on today, and I really appreciate it. One idea for me that is really worth spreading is to let you know what an honor and privilege it is to work with the students at the School of ESL, with all the variety of talents they have, and uh, particularly the student success team because what happens with this team is very much like that. They come in with one idea, someone has one idea, they put their heads together and it comes to an event or a workshop or uh, some activity that they then offer to all the students at the School of ESL. And uh, that's very much how this TED Talk happened. Johnny walked in the office, had an idea for having an event like this and allowing you this platform to share your great ideas. Ray had the idea for a public speaking workshop. Those two guys came together and here we are today. So thank you very much to both of you. Thank you and to the entire Student Success team for doing this event and so many of And the volunteers that you see around you. So just... Uh, I'm going to uh, just say one thing to the speakers today. I've heard some of you, I've seen some of your speeches. It's been a real honor to see the process of you 
getting better and better at your speeches, and as you know, with practice, it really does get um, your perfection, and there's so many great ideas that you guys are going to hear today that will challenge you and inspire you, and hopefully you guys also, who are, are just in the audience today, may want to participate in the future, and I think you are not only going to hear some mind-opening ideas, but I think, like many of us, when we listen to the speech, you will be uh, blown away by these five-minute talks. So again, thank you to all of the speakers, and congratulations on this achievement. And Jordi. Before we get right into our speaking program, there are some rules for us to consider. Speakers may notice there are two pieces of cake on either side. So long as you are within the boundaries, you are on camera. Speakers have the option to opt out of being filmed. All you have to do is say before the speech, no Ray, I would not like to be filmed. Or to Johnny. Tell Johnny. But I'll also tell me, I would like to know. And there's also a time. Do not be conscious of your time limit because when you work with us, your times were perfect. For your reference, there are two cards in the back. Yellow card for five minutes. Red card for six minutes. As long as you are conscious of your time, you'll do well. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, fellow students, peers, faculty, let us begin GBC Talks. <laughs> 